Hello once again, Knights fans. Welcome back to FDUnites.com. Here with head coach Eric TP. I'm Phil Pocket for the FDU Women's Soccer Report. Coach, only one game last week, 5 nothing setback against Ryder. What kind of mindset did you see from your team this week in practice coming off that loss? Well, we talked a little bit about the loss. I think it was one of those games that was a lot closer than the score indicated. Uh, we really had possession of the ball for the first 25 minutes. Uh, just didn't do a very good job of creating. And then I think we allowed one or two mistakes in the second half to get away from us. So we turned a 0-0 game into a game that was quickly 2 3 nothing midway through or late second half. So I think we need to learn to understand that uh, if we're playing our game, sometimes you're still going to fall behind in that. And you have to find a way to play through that and not let it affect you. And I think the biggest thing was our mentality is that that we we changed what we were doing, even though we were getting better chances and we were pushing forward and we had possession. So I think uh, that mentality is something that's got to change for us. Now, you guys go up to Colgate tomorrow night. Have you seen some of that mentality change in the week preparation this week leading up to Colgate tomorrow night? Yeah, sure. I mean, we've had a good week of training, but you know, at the end of the day, it still comes down to what happens when you step on the field. Uh, obviously, Colgate is playing very well right now, coming off a big win against LSU. Uh, so for us, it's a statement game. You know, can we can we go in there and and find a result that that shows us a little bit about what we can be as we go forward? And uh, you know, we just spoke to the team now that. It's not about every individual game right now. We're still talking about making ourselves better. Uh, can, we, can we get better from week to week? Can we take things that we struggled with and improve upon them? And I think uh, from a training point of view, I think we've done that this week. Does that translate into the game yet? We'll have to find out. Maybe it's this week. Maybe it's next week. But, but I like the direction of where we're going right now, uh, regardless of uh, what the results are. Now you guys face Hartford up there on Sunday afternoon. Faced them last year here, got a close, I believe it was one nothing victory here at home. What can you say to your team reflecting from last year that can help you out on Sunday against the Hawks? I think it's just another team that probably wants to get back at us. You know, we've beaten them the last two years. Um, they're very difficult to play at their field. Uh, we we found a way to scratch out a 4-3 win the last time we were up there two years ago. So... I think both of us at this time in the season are kind of in that same trying to find ourselves. Uh, I think both of us have a lot of new players stepping in, uh, so they need to kind of, you know, make their mark on the field. Uh, so I think it'll be an interesting game. I think we'll have to hope that uh, the fact that we're playing on Thursday doesn't affect us too much, uh, where they're going to be a little bit more rested. But that's something that we need to address as well as the season progresses. So might as well get used to it now. All right, Coach, thank you for your time this week. Thanks. Knights fans, don't forget you can watch the Knights in action online on the Patriot League Network when they face Colgate on Thursday evening and then once again on the America East Network on Sunday afternoon when they face the Hawks. Stay tuned to all the updates online at FGUnites.com.